does anarchism? That's a, that's a big question. I mean, anarchism. There's two ways to take an anarchism. I think one one way would be to think of anarchism as a, from a theoretical point of view, or from a philosophical point of view, and really I'm not interested at all in that. Uh, I mean, that anarchism is good for museums, you know, you can get it and, and study what anarchists did or are doing or whatever, you know, and probably you might get one or two interesting ideas there. Uh, or you can look at anarchism as a, this kind of crazy radical philosophy that pushes the boundaries of rational thought to its absolute extreme, you know, and you get primitivists and whatever, you know, it's like really crazy stuff. Uh, and that's another way to look at anarchism, but, 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 but the two of them are very theoretical ways to understand it. And even though I'm a person that has a serious interest in theory, I'm not interested in purely philosophical anarchism. I was never interested in philosophy, not even from school. Uh, the way I prefer to think about anarchism is a living movement of, of living and real people trying to go out there to the streets, to their workplace, to their schools, their universities, their communities, wherever they dwell, and uh, look for collective solutions to our collective problems. That's the way I understand it. Uh, and for that, we're not acting on our own and we don't have to re reinvent the wheel, but uh, we have a solid core of principles and political thought that's been, that, that was produced over a hundred years ago and that is still quite relevant and it's very good that we know it, not because it's a cult and we have to rever the founding fathers of the movement, but because they do have something that's relevant to say for, for today and we need to study it, understand it and then bring about creative solutions based on on. On, on that accumulated experience, that's, that, that, that's theory at the end of the day.